Hey guys, Venix here. Today looking at a game called Escaped Chasm. Now this game is free on itch.io, and very interestingly, this game is made by the very talented Tammy Chang. For those of you who don't remember, Tammy is one of the people who did the art for Undertale. There, and just check the credits to figure out all the various things they've worked on. But they worked alongside Toby Fox or to make Undertale and Deltarune. And of, so this is a game made by Temi, and Toby helped a little bit with the music from what I saw from the credits. So outside of that, I know nothing else about this game other than it's, I believe, RPG Maker, based off, again, the credits. So let's check it out. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, also, the movies sometimes crash the entire game. So let's watch all the movies. How about the rest? Of yes. What? Sometimes when I close my eyes, when I let my mind drift, I can feel a world beyond my own. It's fast and beautiful. I can see through the eyes of a girl I admire. However, as my consciousness slips back to me, I remember that this euphoric dream is not real. As I awaken, my connection to that world slowly fades from my memory. I won't let that world escape me. I will hold on to these fragments of my dreams in any way I can. Maybe I can never truly reach that world. But maybe one day, I can still become the girl I see in that place. Dim. That was a really cool opening scene. I'm not gonna lie, that's really good art. Love it so far. Uh, I think I'm done drawing for the day. I was really tempted to give this person Tammy's voice, but let's. I I I I can't. <laughs> I wonder where mom and dad could be. Oh, I thought that was a doorbell or something. Okay. Oh, monsters! A lot of drawings of your imaginings and the world you wished you lived in. Your skill is not where you want to be yet, but you're still proud of what you've made. Wow, I have auto dash on. Oh, is this really auto dash? I'm just not at the dash part yet. It's your garbage can. There's a lot of crumpled up papers full of sketches you don't like. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Read today's entry. I don't have anything to write yet. I should look around first. Okay. Sneak! Hi, Sneak. Naughty looks sickly. He refuses to eat. Oh. What should I do? Get him a mouse. It's a pile of clothes ready to be washed. It's your drawer full of clothes your parents bought for you. You don't really have a sense of fashion yourself. Hmm. Oh, A picture frame that holds a photo of younger you. That looks like a street light. Oh, let's see. Anything else? There's a bed. There's window? No? Okay. Bed. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? No. Upstairs. A vase. <laughs> okay. A vase with pretty flowers. More pretty flowers? Yeah, okay. I have to explore everything because, you know. A photo of another member of your family. You met them when you were very young, so you don't remember who they are. Ugh. It's a family photo of you and your parents. It's your parents' room. I shouldn't go in. Why not? I walk into my parents' room all the time when they're not there. Mainly to pet my cat. But that's... A, I guess it's a different scenario. Shoes! Coat rack. Face. Plant. Painting the flowers. I like the sound effects. Phone. Hmm. Let's go left first. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. Very crowded kitchen. It's the oven. It's a little scary. There's a paint over the oven. Do you want to look? Yes. Is it an annoying dog? Oh, maybe. A painting of a dog at the beach. It seems very annoying. 
A cutting board. A vase with more flowers. A cabinet that holds various spices and ingredients. A kitchen sink. It's clogged up a bit. There's a little bit of white fur in it. A refrigerator. It's fully stocked, but it's hard to decide what to eat. No chocolate, though. Kitchen garbage can. Plants. Radio. It plays a lot of old music. Notes. Some bills and papers. Chair. It's chair-shaped. Kitchen chair bench. <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing in here? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. How about phone? It's a phone. I should try calling my parents. No answer. But nobody came. Painting of mountains. Pie, pie plants. Pretty flowers. Do, do, do. Cheerio. Uh, TV. It seems like a cartoon is about to start. Do you want to watch it? Not right now. I want to explore first. Living room garbage can. Comfortable couch. Potted plants. I can't go this way around the TV? Yes, I can. Okay. A painting of sunset. Sometimes it's hard to tell if RPG Maker games or Game Maker games have depth to their items. I'm glad this one does, or else this would be an impassable terrain. Bathroom. Potted plants. Shower curtain. You accidentally rip it a lot. How do you rip a shower curtain? Jesus Christ. Bathroom sink. Bathroom flavored garbage can. Toilet paper. Toilets. Man. Hmm. Guess I'll go through here. Basement. Broom. Box. Box. What's in the box? It's a mirror. Oh, bewitching. It's you! You look cute today. Garbage can for lint. Washing machine. I have a garbage can for lint. Although it's next to my dryer, not my washing machine. Boiler. It's scary looking. How do boilers look scary looking? I understand they sound scary. Maybe it's just because I live in a basement and therefore stare at a boiler all day. It's a box on a table. It's an open box, haha. Oh, hmm. Okay. Maybe outside. Don't want to go outside yet. Want to write in my diary. Well, fuck it. I'm going to watch cartoons first. Do, 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 do. Okay. Your efforts are futile. You weaklings cannot defeat me. Surrender and accept your fate. <laughs> it is what we're done for. Unless I'm going to use my power. What? No! It's too dangerous! There's no other way! Whatever you're trying, you stand no chance against me! We'll see about that! While well, using this risky hidden power... Do- Oh, uh, power using this risky hero power to our heroes stand a chance! Tune in next time to find out! Oh, her eyes are so sparkly. Look at them. They sparkle. You are in awe. You love this show. Too bad you caught the ending, and it's totally spoiler. Episode ending, you don't want to watch TV anymore. Okay, fine. Her eyes are so sparkly. I love them. That's so cool. Tammy, you do good art. Oh, diary first, right. Diary... It's your diary. What would you write uh, today's entry? They aren't back today either. When will mom and dad come home? I'm really lonely. Oh, that's depressing. Melody isn't doing so well. He won't eat anything for some reason. To pass the time, I've been imagining stories that have become so vivid. I nearly forgot reality. In these stories, I'm who I always wanted to be. Brave, strong, unafraid. Living freely and living in a forest of wonders. The world of my dreams. I even have friends. But in the end of these imaginings, I have to remember that the world isn't real. At the end of the day, 
I have to remember I'm just me. The me who is pathetic. The me who is cowardly. The me who is alone. I'm kind of tired. I'd like to rest for a bit. Okay, nap time. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Her glasses just teleported to the desk. Oh, happy family dreams. Bye! We'll be back soon! Oh. Look at all these people uh, who aren't friends with me. That circle is my safe zone. Wolves attack people? People like the wolf more than me. Or something. What? How long did I sleep for? I should look around and see if they came back yet. Hey Melody, how you doing? Isn't moving anymore. Oh, did Melody die? No, don't kill the pet immediately. I'm like immediately like attached to a snake, even though I don't like snakes. Oh shit! I hit X and that ended the entire game? Fuck, I need. Mm. Okay. Fast forward. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. Back to this. Okay, good, good, good. Melody? Yeah, you're dead. Oh. Or hopefully just asleep. I don't want Melody dead. Uh, let's see. They said tune in next time, so maybe next time is today for the cartoon. Uh, was it Cherry old facing the other way? Wasn't it? This isn't our normal reclining chair. They come back and change the chair. That's very odd. What's on TV? I see. I'm aware that's a bad pun, but whatever. You don't feel like watching anymore. <laughs> really, no comment on that? It's just like, yeah, that was, that was a giant eyeball looking at me through the TV. Hi. There. Who are you, person who's not blue? Just a visitor. Is there anything I can do for you in my foyer? Not really, I'm just here to observe. Observe. What are you observing? Be fair, telling a, a small child who's alone in their home that you're just there to observe them is very creepy. Especially when you have horns and a cape. Just here to see what happens. What do you mean? Okay. Wow, that was the fastest you've ever moved in your life. Where did she? He. I thought that was a girl. Okay, anything in here? Um, everything looks roughly the same. Kitchen sink is clogged up a bit with white hair. Fully stocked, still no chocolates. Where are the knives? Um, any more Undertale references I can shove in here? Uh, everything's normal down here. All the paintings look the same. Same number of shoes. Uh, if I checked parents' room, it's your parents' room. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. All right, so you thought that maybe they came back and changed the chair. No response. Guess I should look around. I think I did everything. You still not doing okay, Melody? Oh. 
Okay, do not press X. Read today's entry. There's a strange guy in the house today. I couldn't believe my eyes, especially since he disappeared in front of me. I wasn't sure if he was real or not. I was a little alarmed at first, but maybe I just imagined him. Melody stopped moving. I think he's sleeping. When will Mom and, Dad, Mom and Dad come home? I don't know what to do. How do I help him? I'm kind of sleepy. I should take a rest. Okay. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes, please. Maybe they'll be back when I wake up. Hmm. Drawing? Drawing, drawing, drawing. Drawing! Oh, drawing as you got older and realized that because you spent all your time drawing, suddenly there's no one around you, including parents, I guess. How long have your parents been gone? You also haven't eaten for two days. Uh, hello, face. Hello. Please help her. Who is her? Please help me. Okay. No comment about the dream? Cool. Melody, you awake? Oh, I guess not. Um, hmm. Hey, you guys home yet? Guess not. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Nothing's changed in here. Hmm, Cheerio's back to normal. The chair is back? What's going on? You're too afraid to turn on the TV. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to wake up in the morning and have your front room chair be different. It's another thing to wake up the next day and have it be back to normal. Then you know you're just tripping. Balls. Every balls. Okay, uh, can I go out? I don't... I can do this. I mean, you should put on shoes and jacket first. No, okay, cool. Oh, hi there. Well, what's happening? Such a wonderful sight. I recommend you turn back. Okay, okay. He's right, I should go back. What was that? What's going on? I knew I shouldn't have gone outside. What should I do? What should I do? I'm so scared. Where are mom and dad? Where could they be? So is this just like a huge um, social anxiety thing? Like, whole not wanting to leave your house because of, you know, feeling socially anxious or um, that phobia that involves being in open, wide open spaces and all that stuff. Uh, let's read today's entry. I went outside my my house and reality was falling apart. I went outside to try to look for mom and dad and what I saw, my heart was racing. Something's wrong. Everything looked distorted and destroyed. Didn't know what to do. Was what I saw even real? That strange man was there too, he was looking at the chaos and he seemed like he liked it. He told me I should turn back, and then vanished. Who is he? If I see him again, maybe I should ask him where my mom and dad are. What would he know? Where are my mom and dad? Do they get hurt? Do they need my help? I don't know what to do. My mind is racing. I'm so scared. I'm so worried. What should I do? I'm tired for some reason. Why am I so tired? So you haven't eaten for three days at least! You get up in the morning walk around, watch some TV, and then don't eat or use the bathroom. Your body is failing. I don't know if I should be sleeping, but for some reason I can't keep my eyes open. Will everything be fixed when I wake up? Teleporting glasses still. Doggy! Eyeball! Creepy. 
something. Bunny? Bunny person, long hair and cape? Who sort of looks like they're from Deltarune? Oh my. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I should... Oh, new photo. Huh. Hey Melody, how you doing? Oh, okay. Oh my. Uh huh. What's happening? I need to find Mom Dad quick. Okay. Uh, family photo, you and no one. I should check line as a last resort. I'll come back if there's nowhere else. Why would you check their room as a last resort? I really w wish there was a way to save the game in this. What was this picture of again? I don't know. Wasn't there a vase here? Broken. Ooh, Dolly. Where did this doll come from? This isn't my doll, but it looks familiar for some reason. Take doll with you? Uh, yes? You took the familiar doll. Chair? Some bills and papers, slightly torn. Pot plant knocked over. Radio won't turn on. Refrigerator, there's nothing to eat. Uh, it's kitchen sink, it's not clogged up anymore. It's a stove. It doesn't seem to be working. Container full of sugar. I shouldn't eat this. You ate it anyway. Cutting board. Broken vase. Cabinet that holds various blah blah blah. Oh, I, all the contents were scrambled, it said. Uh, there's no phone. Cool. What was this picture of again? Oh boy. Uh, hello? It's a mirror. What were you expecting? You looked at a cracked mirror. <laughs> They're both washing machines now. <laughs> it's the, the boiler's the least scariest part of the room now, because it's the only one that didn't get fucked up. It's a box on a table. Box with questionable contents inside. It's a closed box. It used to be open. Actually, can I go get that broom? Broom! Broom, the only thing that's normal. Ah, Cherry Hill's back, facing the wrong way. Couch was switched out again. The TV won't turn on. Comfortable couch is all ripped up. Broken vase. What was this photo of again? Blah, blah, blah. It's some of your drawings. How'd these get here? Bathroom? Oh, God. Honestly, the bathroom would be the last place I'd go to in this scenario, because this is... Shark Runner. It's destroyed. Bathtub's full of holes. Toilet's broken. Toilet paper. Um, I don't think going outside's a good thing. Can I go back to my own rule? I feel like I should check everything first. I'll do one more pass in case I miss something. Okay, so... Parents' room, right? Okay, how going? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm walking slow. That's never a good sign. Oh. In open drill, the previous pages are all torn out, but the last page, this is Mom's handwriting. I don't know about you, but I would not be able to recognize my own parents' handwriting. It's... Anyways. If you find this journal, my little star, I'm sorry we couldn't get to tell you one last goodbye. I know you haven't found your confidence yet, but I know deep inside a strong and brave girl sleeps. I wish we could have been able to see you all grown up. If you find a way out, please, move on without us. It's... I think it's too late for us. 
which with all my heart we can meet again at another time, another place. Please know we love you very much. Whatever happens to us, we'll never forget you. I'm proud to have been your mother. I'm proud of you, my daughter. This is... It can't be... No, they must still, still be somewhere. I can still find them. They need my help. I have to... Okay, let's explore their room a bit, shall we? Oh, God. Their room went to sh Something hidden in the Wilton plant. Take it? Sure. Hidden pages. Okay. Uh, can I put these back in here? Oh, God. I don't think I could go that way. Okay. Okay. I have to find them. I... Oh, okay, yeah, this is a good opportunity. This is a good reason to break down and cry. Reality is literally falling apart and some creep bazooid just walked out of your room. Okay. Okay, return to my room, uh, I guess. Hi there. It's you. It's me. You... Do you know where my parents are? Hmm... I think you already know the answer. They're gone. To a place they can't willingly return from. No. As things are, you'll never see them again. No, I... No, it's... it's not true. They're not gone. They can't be. No. Oh, Melody's not in her cage anymore. Well... They may be gone from this world, but is isn't too late to save them. Huh? How can that be? I thought you said they were... From this world, yes. There's nothing that can be done. But if you're willing to take a chance, you may be able to find a way to save them. There's a world beyond this one that you seem to already be somewhat familiar with. A world you've depicted in these crude drawings of yours. It seems like because of her, you've established a link to that world. It will have been very hard to create a path for you there. Susie? Yeah. There's a world like that? So it really exists? However, in stepping through this path, you can never return to this life. This awesome life you have, alone in a house that's slowly disintegrating, where there's no one else. Can you take the step knowing you may never be able to return? There's a way to save them. I have no choice. There is a chance. That in doing this, you will slowly lose every attachment you have to this world. I figure most of that doesn't bother you. But what might upset you is your snake. It that includes memories of your parents. <gasps> With this risk in mind, will you take this step? I mean, yeah. Do you think even without the memories of this world, you'll be able to save them? I could lose the memories of mom and dad. No, these memories, they're my everything. Stay behind and you can hold on to your memories forever. In an endless, abyssal chasm. How, how can I save them if I won't remember them? What sort of options are these? Do you... Do you know why all this is happening? Do you know what caused all this? Kara, I believe I do. There's an influence from a large unstable power in a world not too far from you. Honestly, this sounds a lot. This sounds a lot like an Undertale tie-in. It's likely that's what's causing this world to collapse on itself. Seriously. Or perhaps... 
This world was never stable to begin with. Maybe this world has been unwinding itself from the start. While this is happening, why are you here? Why did you come to a decaying world? Curiosity. I stumbled upon this small world in my search for someone. The one I suspect caused all this. Or, I guess the one who may be making the decay of this world accelerate. I was intrigued by this place's miserable fate and came to see this world to its end. I was surprised to find there was anyone left. There isn't much time for you left either if you stay here. You two will soon be drawn into the depths of an endless chasm. You find yourself unable to stay awake for very long, isn't that right? Yeah, about five minutes, yeah. Don't really care either way if you choose to go or not. There's someone I'd like to return to soon, so this will be your last meeting, and your last chance to escape from here. Will you leave this world? I... yeah. Let's see, stay in this world where reality is falling apart and I will cease to exist in 30 seconds? Or go to a world with fantasy magic and monsters? That's not a choice. I, I need to take that chance. Is there a way I can save them? Maybe... Yes, deep in my heart. I'll make sure I hold on to their memories. Okay, Sora. Jeez. There's no way I'll let myself forget. You've made a wise decision. Step through this door and don't look back. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe you'll even get to meet her. Till then, farewell. Her. Who's her? I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling my dreams and happiness will come true. The moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Melody. She, Melody's right there. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. You could just grab the snake on the way out. You're literally passing by it. I'll never forget you. You're passing by your snake. Just pick it up and take it with you. Fine, be that way. Okay. Oh boy. You cat person now? By Tammy Chang. Story art by Temi. Cutscene by Temi. Sound design by Fat Bard. Music by Toby Fox. And James Roach. System Engine. RPG Maker. Special thanks to these people, which do a lot of things. I think Mom and Dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. Still, I can't believe my eyes. The outside world before me. It's so beautiful. End. Okay, so because I got those secret pages from the plant and the doll, I got access to this room. Seems like there's something to watch. Watch what's on TV. It seems as time has passed. She slowly lost hold of her memories from her last life. However, she's still drawn to the girl she met in her dream. Because she's hungry. Though maybe for the wrong reasons. Did the entire game just spasm out? Or is that supposed to do it? Maybe one day she might realize and remember the real reason she's drawn to her. She's adorable is why. What a shame. She lost her memories. Oh well. I hope that's not how that actually ended. It's a ball of yarn. What fun. 
Wow, good job! You found the secret room! You must have some questions, right? I'm not doing anything particularly important right now, so feel free to ask me anything you like. Who are you? I'm Demi! Here this game! I draw a pixel anime right now, I guess. I made sound effects in-game using cute program. Behold! Please hire me, I need work. Anyway, please ask away. Do you have any more questions? This is directed at you, insert player name here. How did I know you were insert player name here? Well, I'm pretty awesome if I say so myself. Why am I a cat? Haven't you always been? Fair enough. What happened to Lonely Girl? It's probably confusing, right? She stepped into a new world, however, because she was influenced from abnormalities from her decaying world, she was shifted into a demon. This is partially a premise for the game I want to make next, but that game is much more ambitious and I don't know how long it will take. I hope you get to see it someday soon. Anyway, I think she prefers being this way anyway. It really is a new start for her. Anyways, very similar to what she always wished to be anyway. It works out, kind of. Uh, who is that handsome demon man? Think of him as an anti-hero. Sort of. But he's not really a good person. I guess in this story he's okay. Who are the characters he's referring to? The someone he wants to return to is Yoki. She'll be main character of the game I want to make soon. Characters causing everything. You'll find out one day I ever finish that game. I hope I do. Can it just be Kara? Is this all there really is to this game? That's it! I'm sorry, there's so little. Oh, don't worry, Tommy. It's more than I've made. This was just meant to be a test game I made to learn how RPG Maker works so I could make the game I actually want to make. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. The gay attached to her story I made it longer than I intended. I felt really worried writing a story with this type of tone and themes. I really hope it doesn't upset you too much. I'm sorry if it did. It's okay, Tommy. <laughs> uh... Handsome Demon Man again... Uh, his character design. Yes, what about it? Did he need to be a Handsome Demon Man? Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, she blushed. You must be eliminated. Be gone! Oh! Oi! It's a radio. Seems to be playing some of Tem's favorite music. A lot of it seems to be sung by some kind of robotic voice. It seems like there's also some vocal covers of the sa songs playing. <laughs> I like this ball of yarn, because I'm a cat. Anyways, hey Dolly, what's up with you? It's a familiar doll. Missing pages from Mother's Journal. Would you like to read them? Sure. I'm not sure what's going on. My husband and I have been both feeling strangely lethargic this past week. It's like no matter how much I sleep, I don't feel any more rested. It's strange how we both feel this way. Maybe there's something wrong with this mattress. My daughter seems to be more distant than usual lately as well. She seems to be shutting herself in her room more often. I'm worried about her. She's always had low self-esteem, and she always seems so ashamed of herself. I wish we could get it through her head that she can be who she wants to be. The only thing that's holding her back is herself. I know deep down my baby girl is a shining star. Maybe sometime soon we can t plan a trip somewhere far from here, a nice getaway where we can do some family bonding. Maybe we've all been a little too distant lately. We could drive off to somewhere we've never been before, soak in some new sights and refresh ourselves. We could try to figure out some steps we could take to help her feel better about herself. To help her grow into what she wants to be. See what we can do to help or get out of her ruts. I think the fatigue is really getting to me. Maybe a small nap will help me, me feel better. Keep reading. S uh, something's wrong. My husband won't wake up. No matter what I do, he won't budge. Not only that, but when I look at him, I don't know how to describe it, but he looks like he's losing his form. As time is passing, I feel like I can recognize him less and less. I'm panicking. What's going on? I'm terrified. And I think the same is happening to me as well. I can't seem to leave this room. That's disturbing. Can't seem to find the door. This isn't normal. What's wrong with me? I think I heard a knock on the door. Is that you, my little star? I don't know what's going on, but it's getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. Feels like I'm fading out of existence. The knocking stops. I'll just take a small rest. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. It all just seems like a fever dream. It probably is one. I need to remember when I wake up to check on my girl. I don't know if I ever woke up or if I'm still asleep. I can't tell if time is passing or standing still. The room is so distorted, I don't think this is a hallucination. I can't find my husband. Where is he? Is he still in this room? If he's not, he's not gone, is he? This is what we're facing, Orion. My love, where are you? It hurts so much, but for some reason I can't seem to cry. I need to see my daughter. It feels like it's been ages since I've seen her. I don't know how much time has passed. Is she worried about us? Is she safe? This isn't happening to her, is it? 
I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. She must be so scared, so alone. My mind's racing, yet I can't seem to retain a thought in my head for too long. I lose it before I even process it. For I can no longer write. I need to write out something for my little girl. I hope, I wish, with all of my heart, that this letter will make it to you. It seems like there's someone in this room with us. It's not my husband. Who is this? Maybe he can help me. Maybe, maybe he can make sure this journal gets to her. That was a very dark thing to read to this music. Blech. Concept arts. Okay, I think that's everything in this room. Do you want to return the start screen? Yeah. Okay, so that's Escape Chasm. So it's not going to be a tie into Undertale, which they indirectly slash directly said. This is sort of a prequel to a game Tammy wants to make in the next few years, probably. And, like, this is just a jumping off point where Lonely Girl in this will be a, you know, side character and Bunny Girl would be the main character. That's what I gathered from that. Which, I would totally play that one once it comes out. Or if you have a demo. I will totally play that. Because the art style was awesome. Love it. Story, not necessarily the best, but better than average. I'll say that. I don't mean that insultingly. It sounds that way. Sorry. Anyways. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does thing lets me know about the thing. If you like the game, it's up on Itch.io. There will be a link in the description. Uh, check it out. Maybe get, drop some money for her. And I'll see everyone next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so I dug around the files for Escape Chasm a little bit, and I found something titled Escape Chasm 2. Just going to, uh, check this out. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. Okay. Okay.